What's up, everybody? Good to see you here on a Tuesday. Good to see some smiling faces and more people commenting. Thank you, let's keep this rolling. Today has been a day where it's been emails and planning and doing all that task-oriented stuff, and I have not left myself enough time to do the creative, fun, enjoyable stuff that I promised myself I would do each and every day. So here's the thing about creativity. There are two things that we need to do to keep that creative juices flowing in ourselves. No matter what you do, we need to have some creative time in our lives set aside that we always have access to. Creativity takes two things. It takes persistence, hence why I need to do it each and every day and I need to do it today. And the second thing is having a positive attitude around it. There are always stresses, there are always something going on, there's always something that's going to get inside our head and start talking through our head and get ourselves away from being positive and having a good attitude about being creative and putting ourselves out there. But as I say that, I'm not feeling like I have any ideas of what I should do for my creative time. I need some ideas. I have nothing. There's something else about creativity and that's limitations. We often think putting limitations on creativity is actually squashing us and not allowing us to be free to come up with some great brilliant ideas. And sometimes limitations are exactly what we need. And right now, I have a limitation of time and sunlight. Well, for today to inspire me, I'm gonna leave this guy at home and I'm gonna go for a walk. Let's go for it. You know what? Ideas don't always have to be big, massive ideas. We don't have to be recreating something in the world. We don't have to solve world hunger. We don't have to always look at trying to solve the climate change crisis or recreate yet another electric vehicle to compete with Elon Musk. Like some ideas can just be small, good ones, but the whole point of all these ideas, whether they're big or whether they're small, because really it doesn't matter if they're small, as long as they're contributing in some way, but they're only ideas. And the problem with ideas is only if you don't take action on them. I just love the artwork that's here. This is great stuff. You know when you're walking and sometimes you're always looking down, sometimes you never know what you might find. Because that is a loony. What a cool find. Let's take an interruption in this vlog for a little bit of magic. Whew. to get here to get something more fun. We've got little fairies that come by every once in a while. Check this out. Hello, how are you? Yeah, I like to go to the Inner Harbor. Alright. Thank you very much. You 
traveling the open seas in Victoria Harbor. These are the cutest little boats. I've got a whole bunch of them that go around during the summer. See, they've already started. They're a lot of fun. You should try it out. All right, now I'm on shore. Perfectly good to go. And now, the other thing for creativity is don't let yourself go hungry. I'm getting kind of hungry. Let's go have some dinner. $5 drinks, that's pretty good. I actually need some real food. This will be yummy. Nope. Love the music, Burger King, but no, can't do it. Do Mexican, not tonight. I'm dying, I need food. Hello. Okay, so I am starving, but I am looking for ideas. I've had about nine different places, maybe six, I can't remember, I'm losing count. Get Yala. some ideas. Yala? Try Yala? Let's go for it. so desperately needed. Power of ideas. This is the ideas that excite us, that ignite us into action. The best part is, are the ideas that we come up with, the ones that are our ideas, are the ones that we're most likely to take action on. So go take some ideas, write them down, put them in a book, tell, talk to people about them, and then take action. Catch up later.